Did you know that Sudan is the third largest country in Africa, covering an enormous area of 1.8 million square kilometers? This fascinating landlocked nation has so much to offer, and we're going to explore it all today. Located in northeastern Africa, Sudan holds a rich history that dates back thousands of years from the ancient Nubian kingdoms to the mighty kingdom of Kush. Sudan also has very diverse and stunning landscapes, from the Sahara Desert in the north to the lush savannas in the south. This country is a paradise for nature lovers and adventure seekers. Did you know that Sudan once represented over 8% of the whole African continent? That's 2% of the world's total land area and is the father of the world's newest nation, South Sudan, which broke away from Sudan in 2011, making it the latest internationally recognized country in the world. It's also one of the most diverse countries in the world. Although Arabic and English are the official languages in Sudan, there are over 114 native languages and over 500 distinct accents. On the 1st of January 1956, Sudan gained independence from Egypt and the United Kingdom. This explains why English and Arabic are the official languages in Sudan. Khartoum is the capital of Sudan, covering a land of over 1,010 square kilometers. The capital city is also home to around 6.3 million people. It also serves as the point where the white and blue mile merges to form the River Nile, which flows to Egypt. From rivers to deserts, you might be surprised to hear this, but Sudan has more pyramids than Egypt. More than 200 pyramids were built in Sudan, in comparison to the 118 throughout all of Egypt. Sudan also has many archaeological sites, like the Kingdom of Kush, which was an ancient African kingdom. The name Kush is connected to the biblical character of Kush in the Old Testament. According to the text, his son Nimrod was the founder and king of Babylon. Sudan is also home to the huge open-air market called Suq al-Aribi, which can be found on the south of the Great Mosque of Khartoum. The market itself is divided into different sections with one dedicated to the buying and selling of gold. An impressive fact about Sudan is the gum Arabic production. This is an important ingredient in the making of many processed foods like chocolate, hard candies, icing and chewing gum. Sudan actually exports at least 70% of the world's gum Arabic, so next time you're chewing on a piece of gum or eating some chocolate, don't forget to thank Sudan. That's not all though, Sudan is also part of the Great Green Wall project. This ambitious project is aiming to build a 4,970 mile wall of trees straight across Africa to create the largest living structure on the planet. Another one of Sudan's proudest facts is that Sudan was the first Muslim and Arab country to appoint a female judge. This happened in the 60s. Today Sudan has over 60 female judges, that's more than any Arab or Muslim country. So let's talk about Sudanese hospitality. Sudanese people are known for their warmth and generosity towards guests. They take pride in offering delicious foods and treating visitors like family. From savoury dishes like full madamas, a hearty bean stew, to sweet desserts like babusa, a semolina cake, Sudanese cuisine is a delight for food lovers. Sudan is also famous for its tea culture, whether it's the traditional spiced black tea or a refreshing hibiscus tea known as kaga tea. Sudanese tea is a delicious treat enjoyed by many. Well, that's if you like tea, of course. After eating all that food, you might need to go run it off with a game of football. Sudan holds the record of hosting the first ever AFCON tournament in 1956. I hope you like this video, and please don't forget to subscribe. It's free, and it helps us a lot. Till next time, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day.